There was a surprise announcement from the premiers of British Columbia and Alberta today. They're moving forward on a deal to develop the Enbridge pipeline. For months, the Western premiers have publicly feuded over the pipeline's development. Today's agreement would have significant impact on Canada's energy strategy. But as Robin Gill reports, there are still a lot of obstacles ahead. The Cold War between Alison Redford and Christy Clark is finally thawing. The two Western premiers are now ready to talk about a pipeline between Alberta and B.C. We want to work with everyone that wants to work with us because that's how we make Canada's economy work. We have made it clear to Alberta that their royalties and taxes are not part of the discussion. But B.C. wants its fair share of the $81 billion Enbridge's Northern Gateway pipeline is expected to pump out. So B.C. will have to negotiate money directly with the oil companies. We're open to having those discussions. Uh, how the, that dialogue plays out, we'll see in the fullness of time. And as I say, we would have preferred that Alberta would remain open to participating in that discussion. The project would run from Alberta's oil sands through British Columbia. The oil would then be shipped to lucrative foreign markets. Good morning, everybody. For months, the relations between the two premiers has been tense. But today, a breakthrough. They're now willing to be at the table to talk financial compensation, assurances of environmental safeguards, and that First Nations be consulted. Aboriginal groups have environmental concerns. First Nations in B.C., when it comes to Northern Gateway Pipeline, uh, have not changed their position. They're still opposed to it. They'll still do everything that they can to stop that project. This is far from a done deal. They've only agreed to talk about B.C.'s demands. And the federal government has yet to weigh in with its conditions. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.